Does my heart good to see a boy wolf down his food like that? What's the matter, Eddie? Well, I want to get to school so I can boast about us being filthy rich millionaires. Now, now, Eddie, we have never boasted about our wonderful advantages before. We are not going to start now. <laughs> okay, but tomorrow can I take the teacher an apple with a diamond in it? <laughs> we'll see. So long. So long. Bye. Bye. Uh, the, uh, where is my, uh, dear son-in-law, Herman? Did he leave for work early today? Herman decided to stay home today. Stay home to do what? Well, he didn't say. He just decided to stay home. Oh, well, uh, excuse me, but, uh, uh, I'm gonna go down to the lab and check on our treasure. <laughs> Isn't Grandpa conscientious keeping such a close watch on that treasure? He was like that in the old country. Whenever the family used to go out at night, he always would worry about who was minding the vault. <laughs> Man, Herman's not even here at all. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of silly of me to be so suspicious. <laughs> for something, Diogenes? Um, what is the meaning? What is the idea of this? Well, it um, just occurred to me that some unscrupulous persons might have evil designs on our treasure. So I set a booby trap. <laughs> I had no idea the booby would turn out to be you. <laughs> What did you say, dear? I said somebody is missing. Now speak up. Who is it? Oh, gee, Pop, we're all here but Grandpa. Grandpa? Oh, of course. Uh, <clears throat> where is my honest old partner? Well, I thought I saw him go down to the dungeon. Oh, the dungeon? <laughs> dungeon? <laughs> You mean the dungeon where we have the treasure chest? Yes, Herman, that dungeon. Lily, do you think that Uncle Herman and Grandpa are suspicious of each other? Ever since that treasure came into their lives, they've been acting very childish. Childish? Heck, Mom, I don't know any kids that act that creepy. <laughs> Hmm. The old frump isn't down here after all. <laughs> uh -oh. Better be careful. You might have it booby trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those goodies. <laughs> 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 
But you red-handed, you dirty crook. Uh, who, who are you calling a crook? You're the crook, you swindler. You call me a swindler, you thief. You charlatan. You double-crosser. Cheater. Thief. Burglar. Bandit. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourselves fighting about the treasure you both found. The treasure rightfully belongs to me because it was found in my house. Your house? <laughs> prove it. Show me the deed. I don't have to prove it. Because all the mail that comes here is addressed to Mr. Herman Munster. <laughs> and all the mail you get says, care of Herman Munster. <laughs> Are you calling me a freeloader? No. I'm calling you a bum. <laughs> Call me a bum, I'll throw you down and walk all over you. You do it, I'll get you for trespassing. Stop it, both of you. Mm. Grandpa. Uh, stop it, Grandpa. Now blow out your fingers and behave. <laughs> Since you found that treasure, there's been nothing but jealousy and greed between you two. Why, it's turned you into, into a couple of inhuman creatures. Well, it's his fault. Was not. Was. It wasn't. Was. Why then? Was. Why then? Quiet! <laughs> now, here's what we'll do. Until this thing can be settled, I want you both to promise that neither one of you will go near that treasure without the other. Now, shake hands on it. Well, I'll promise, but I won't shake hands. I'll promise if he hopes to spit. <laughs> oh, come on, Grandpa. Well, well, all right. I hope to spit. Right in his eye. <laughs> Boy, that was a neat fight. Eddie, where did you come from? Well, I was watching from my perch. <laughs>